Hello everyone. Before we begin today's video, I want to remind you as always that my book of short horror stories called The Things That Happen at Night is available at the link in the description for only $3. Also down in the description, you can check me out on my social media, sign up for my free newsletter, and also read some of my free short horror stories over on Wattpad. So check all those out. Now let's get on with the video. All right, so our book today is called Black Tide by Casey Jones. This is a uh, apocalyptic tale, uh, but it sets itself apart from every other apocalyptic book, I guess you can say, every novel I've read anyway, in that we don't start out this novel already in this post-apocalyptic uh, setting. We get to experience this event, this thing happening right along with our two main characters. And they bring us along on the journey. They don't know what's going on when it, when it begins. We don't know what's going on when it begins. They don't know what the rules are for survival under uh, what's happening. And we don't know the rules of survive, survival uh, for what's happening also. So we get to go along with them this book starts out as a normal, everyday setting and slowly devolves into this event that happened that caused basically the end of the world as we know it. And I really like that because the two main characters, they are not trained in any sort of way for this. They are completely unprepared. Uh, they have no special skills in their background that that they can use to deal with this. They are not the hero or her heroic types, <laughs> I guess you can say. And uh, the two main characters are couldn't be any more different, and yet uh, the, they are bound together, this man and this woman, uh, because of things that have happened in both of their past and uh, different different events that made them who they are and neither of them is quite happy with where they are in life because of these events uh, that have happened. Uh, but this book is really, <clears throat> really uh, uh, scary because the, there, there are no rules in place for these things that are happening. And so as our characters discover them, like I said, we also get to discover them. And that makes for some very... Uh, tension-fueled segments, action-packed, a matter of life and death escape, or maybe not, that will have you holding your breath and just keep turning the page. Now, this is not an apocalyptic event. Like It's not the zombie apocalypse, apocalypse, all right? It's not even really an alien from outer space apocalypse. I don't really want to give away what it is because that's part of the appeal. That's part of the uh, uh, figuring out how to deal with these things that have come into the world. But the creatures that are in this world are extremely frightening, extremely deadly. And a good portion of this book, most of it, in fact, is with our two characters in a vehicle uh, on a beach by the Pacific Ocean. And they can't escape. They can't, they're afraid to leave their vehicle because the creatures that now inhabit our world are invisible most of the time to, to the naked eye. And they hunt by sound. Of course, the, our characters and, and us as readers, we don't know that right away. We have to figure that out through some very harrowing, terrifying uh, situations <laughs> that these characters find themselves in. Like I said, it's, it's action-packed and it's thrilling. Uh, those sections are just because you never know uh, when they're going to bite it, when they're going to bite it, when they're going to die, if they're going to die. We just have no way of knowing because, like I said, they have no special skill set for, for this situation. They have to figure it out on their own. This book gives me vibes of uh, 
two different uh, two two things that are some of my favorites in the horror genre. The first one being Cujo, because of course they are trapped in this car. They can't really go anywhere because even stepping outside, as far as they know, could lead to instant uh, horrible bloody death, <clears throat> as they've seen after a certain amount of time in this new landscape. And uh, so they're trapped in this vehicle. There's danger on every side, and getting out and running is not an option if they want to stay alive. This also reminds me a little bit of A Quiet Place. If you haven't seen that movie, John Krasinski, uh, I I love that movie. And these creatures uh, are kind of like that in the fact that they uh, hunt by sound. So any little noise they make, any... Any misjudgment, any miscues they have as they're trying to figure out what to do uh, could also lead to their demise. And they have to figure this out and do it quick because not only are there dangers all outside of this vehicle they're trapped in, but like I said, they are stuck on the beach by the Pacific Ocean. The tide is coming in and eventually it's going to take their vehicle out to sea and they're going to drown. So through most of this book, uh, we have to figure out, are they going to make it, first of all? Uh, And if not, what's going to happen? Are the creatures going to get them? Or are they just going to have to accept their fate in the sea and and drown out there? It's really a hopeless situation these characters are in. And that makes for some of the best tension-filled moments, I think, in this entire novel. It's more of a character-driven novel but you know you got these two main characters we get to uh, uh, hear about them and the things that have happened in their past how they became where they are and what they are right now and can they meld can they bond together in a way that will ensure both of their uh, survival Uh, and like I said we'll figure that out along with them but it's not a very good situation. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's horrible. It's terrible. It's frightening. And it'll have your adrenaline pumping as you're reading. I know mine certainly was. Uh, and also, when we get to... Uh, the creatures outside their car are not the only creatures that have now entered our world. And when we get to why and how... This event happened. What actually transpired to bring these creatures to us, it it just blew my mind. Because even though, like I said, this book did remind me of of, of, like Cujo and A Quiet Place, the similarities end with the things I've already talked about because this author took this and made it his own, put his own spin, his own uh, uh, twist on on, on those scenarios. And uh, that's where the similarities end, because this book is completely his, and he did a a fantastic job with it. I really love this book. It kept my attention. It's filled with tension. It's action-packed. It's bloody and brutal at times, and you never know. You never know who is going to bite it, (laughs) or even if they're going to bite it. We don't know. But you'll have to find out for yourself when you read it. And I highly recommend this book. It's simply great. Uh, Black Tide by Casey Jones. And I'll leave a link down below to Amazon if you want to purchase it from there. Yeah, go ahead and do that. And also down below, check out my links, buy my book, sign up for my newsletter, join me on social media, check out my free stories on Wattpad. I'd love for you to do all that. And as always, I want to say thank you for taking some of your time and spending it here with me. I really appreciate you guys watching. And until we meet again, keep reading spooky, my friends.